Welcome students. Welcome to my lecture. Deflection of a falling mass. Coriolis effect. We have studied the effect of a rotating frame of reference on the motion of a body. The fictitious force involved two terms. One is a centrifugal force and the other is a Coriolis force. Today let us discuss the effect of Coriolis force in detail and let us see what happens to your body falling from a height towards the earth. Actually what is Coriolis effect? The rotation of the earth causes all moving objects in the northern hemisphere including air mass to deflect to the right and those in the southern hemisphere to move to the left. This Coriolis effect is absent at the equator and this Coriolis force prevents a direct simple flow from the equator to the poles. You can see in this figure that a body which is falling towards the earth and if that body is observed from the earth and the earth is rotating in this along the north south axis along its own axis due to that rotation the observer feels that the body which is falling towards the earth experiences a sideways force for example in the northern hemisphere this object deflects to the right as you can see here so that means it is deflecting towards the right side this is the right side for this, this is the right side, this is the left side. So, this red color body is reflecting towards the right in the northern hemisphere. At the same time, in the southern hemisphere, if a body is falling towards the earth and that body experiences a force for Coriolis force towards the left. So, this violet color body which you can see in the southern hemisphere having an arrow towards the left. So this is the left direction. This is the right direction for this southern hemisphere body. So this body as it is in the southern hemisphere it is deflected towards the left. So let us understand in detail in a mathematical terms how does it works. So for a mathematical treatment we need to use a spherical polar coordinate system as we are discussing about a planar motion. I, I, I suppose you are considering that this motion takes place in a plane where r and theta are the coordinates which is need to be changed. So this is the top view of the earth and that means you are viewing the earth above the north pole from the above. This is the earth is a sphere and you are seeing from the above and that earth is moving in the anti-clockwise direction. So the earth is spinning or rotating on its own axis in the anti-clockwise direction. So now I am having a particle of mass m and that particle is at a distance a small r from the center of the earth. As you know uh, the east is considered in the above the uh, line above the center line and the worst is considered below the center line. Now that means if I see uh, if I take it in the longitudinal way the north will be coming in the top, south will be coming in the bottom, east will be coming in the right and the west will be coming in the left. So since this is a top view this will feel like this and now as, it, as, as I told you, the Coriolis forces causes the bodies which is falling to be deflected horizontally. For instance, if, if, it, if a mass or a ball or a stone is dropped from a tower and it lands something to the east of the releasing point and that depends on whether you are in a right northern hemisphere or a southern hemisphere. In this case, in this problem, we shall understand, uh, we shall calculate as a mathematical analytically 
how does how much is the deflection for a mass coming to the next slide as i told you the coordinate system which is selected is r and theta so as you can see here the direction of r is radial radially from the center of the earth and as it goes along the radius of the earth so this is so this is the particle or this is the body which is falling towards the earth and the radius the direction of r small r is radially outward and the angle theta the theta angle is perpendicular to the radius and is towards the east so i am uh, dividing the components of the force along the direction of r and theta so the force along the r is as we have studied in the previous video the total force on a body observed from a rotating frame of reference is the force is given by minus mg minus 2m omega cross v minus m omega cross omega cross r and as we studied that in the first term uh, is the pure acceleration of the particle itself that is a translational acceleration and the second part is the centrifugal force and the and the third part corresponds centri uh, coriolis force and that part corresponds to centrifugal force and you can see here the component of the force along the radial direction is given by as we know the first term is the gravitational force since the gravitational force acts along the radial direction it is minus mg r cap as i took the direction outward is positive so since the gravitational force is towards the center minus sign will come and the second force omega cross v as we know it is also in the direction of r so that is 2m omega cross v and the third term omega cross omega cross r that's also in the direction of r so i took minus m omega cross omega cross r in the direction of theta i got minus 2 m r dot omega that means the velocity is given by r dot so this force the component of this force is along the di direction of theta so the this force is along the direction of theta so i can consider this is the total force i think this is not the radial force the total force so from this uh, i can write the direction of theta uh, component of force along the theta direction is this is minus 2m instead of v rod i took r dot and omega coming to the next slide ends